In a recovery plan, the first thing is responding to the emergency. So what do you do first? You need to develop checklists and train all personnel that are affected on how to use the checklists. These checklists should not only be available to your security professionals, your IT staff, but they need to be available to anybody that needs to get their hands on them. Make sure they're available, make sure the personnel are trained and they know what to do. First step beyond the emergency. Once you have decided that this really is an emergency, we have a disaster we need to recover from, ensure that all the appropriate people are notified. Don't leave anybody in the dark. Make sure that all of the management team members are notified. Users are aware of what's happening. Many of the users may be in the dark. They may not know the extent of the disaster or really know even what's going on. So inform the users. Make sure that your technical service providers are aware. Perhaps they are the ones that notified you. But make sure that they are aware and you are coordinating your activities because in a large-scale disaster, they may have their own disaster recovery procedures that they are putting into place. If appropriate, make sure that emergency personnel are brought in and notified what you are doing so that you can work with them as well as law enforcement, especially if any of the disaster or the repercussions of the disaster involve any breaking of laws or anything law enforcement needs to be involved in. Make sure they're notified up front, not only to what has happened, but what you're planning to do. Ensure that for all these groups of people, management, users, technical service providers, emergency personnel, and law enforcement, that you coordinate your activities so that any of your actions are not counterproductive to what the other groups may be doing. 